Exciting time as we pull out of Lake X on Lake X for our first trip with the 600 V12 Stingrays by Mercury Marine. Absolutely incredible engines and we're on the 425 LXF, 42 and a half feet with just twin outboards. So exciting to see how they perform and it'll be a first great trial. First thing we, we see is how quiet they are and imagine that with a V12 600 horsepower setup. So let's take a ride and see how this thing does. So we just ran the boat a little bit and the shot out of the hole is absolutely incredible. And Alan is now actually just kicking him in gear. And the incredible part is you hear no clanging, no banging, no aggressive shifts at all. Uh, super quiet engine all around, but just watch it as we go. And you can see you don't hear a thing. Unbelievable with the size and power of these outboards. Go back to neutral. All right, I'm going to use the joystick. 
So now you forget that you trimmed up, uh, put it into gear, and once it gets above a certain speed, it'll trim them down for you. You can hammer it, they'll trim itself down. So Alan, a question I know we're going to get, how do you know the rudder angle if the uh, outboard itself is, is always stationary straight like that? Sure. So here on the Mercury vessel view gauge, you'll see there's a little red indicator with the steering wheel. Uh, when the red indicator is on the steering wheel, it's on center. And then you'll see the indicator move port or starboard. And you also have a rudder angle here oh, in the top okay. right hand corner that'll show you as well. Um, when we put the, the joystick on, it'll automatically come in the center and raise mm. the engines up for us. And then um, once we uh, start to use the throttles and pick up speed, it'll load that, that engine back down for us. Very nice. All right, so since we're on the 425 LXF, we're going to do a quick walkthrough as we always do. We saw a bit of the performance with the 600s. Incredible to see a 42 footer doing almost 62 miles an hour and how incredibly quiet these things are. It's impressive. You guys got to experience this in person. But as we can see here, we got a pair of live wells on the transom. Nice little carbon fiber finish underneath. Close that up. You have two transom doors, one port, one starboard. It's really nice. I'm not going to pop all those open, but it gives you great access to a rather large uh, transom area there. So you also have your side door drops down from the hull. So if you're at the sandbar, you know, real easy place just to sit and relax or get in and out of the boat. So I'll pop this bilge open just real fast. You got the generator, sea cock under there, great access to everything, nice large hatch fish boxes either side and then you see here customary to the uh, 530 LXF you can see they set up a nice little I'm not gonna sit on that because it's wet kind of overcast and muggy out here today but they set up a kind of a bar area here which is super nice pull this up sit relax or you have that frigid rigid underneath which pulls out at a touch of a button of course you got a grill back here so definitely a great boat for entertaining. They set up a Garmin unit here, which is extremely nice if you're doing some fishing or just want to see where you're at. Um, you can see the trail here at Lake X, how many loops they've made on this boat. <laughs> That's pretty funny to see. Not a huge lake, so they're basically just doing circles and circles. So let's walk our way up this way. Actually, you can see here, one thing these guys do, which is really cool, and this is a, a patented product, is they have this rocket launcher rod holder set up with the sure shade up top. So once this is up in a standard position, you set your rods up. If you're gonna get that sure shade out, you actually touch a button. This all drops downward so that shade can come up, up and out. So a cool little detail that they have there as well. And then you have your access to second station if you were to choose that. Now the upholstery these guys use almost looks like a leather that should be in some sort of Rolls Royce or Mercedes Benz. Uh, super nice, this drops out makes a really large bench for you know three to maybe even four people let me see if i can pop this open look at that got your seat keeper under there and you can drop into that area to work on anything you need i did 
large space. Siri's trying to talk to me. Not now, Siri. So here we have the helm area. As you can see, they have triple garments, a really nice enclosed console area here. This is all aluminum, it looks like, a, and glass enclosure. So you got a lot of protection when you're in here. They have the zip wakes on here, sky hook joystick, and just a nice blacked out area. Uh, really nice to drive from here. It's elevated a bit, so your field of visibility is great. And then once again, three more captain's chairs right here. You got AC pumping, a little storage space for your phone, keys, what have you. And we'll uh, continue our way over. So I'm gonna pop into the console here just so we can get a look at this. They have windows here to let in a lot of natural light. A uh, mirror there, which I believe has a television tucked behind it. And this you can close in to make a rather large berth. Sleep two, three people here, no problem. Nice little galley, microwave, sink, stove top, refrigerator underneath, storage, and a stand up head and uh, shower, which has some of their gear set up. So we're not gonna get into all that right now. We have another video on the 425 on our YouTube channel. Feel free to check that out. It goes into much more detail. So these guys do a nice job as well, creating storage for little things. Your flip-flops, your phone can go up here, uh, dock lines, fenders can drop up in this area. They got JL audio speakers everywhere. You can see, once again, nice large lounger. Recline back, you can take a nap out here or cruise when you're heading over to the islands. This boat is big and sturdy enough to make that a comfortable ride right there. So here we have another storage space. This one has a little attachment to put your dive ladder to keep that out of the way. Then you have your forward seating. They don't have the cushions up here now since we're just doing sea trials, but they have a ton of storage throughout all this. Easy to open, shut. They don't have any latches here, which is nice. So it provides a lot of storage. And then this table actually pops up on an actuator. So if you want to sit and have a nice dining experience while you're out on the water, this is the place to do it. Got a large anchor locker up in the bow. And there you basically have it. Scout Boats 425 LXF, and I wanted to get into a little detail of what the idea was with this V12 600 Rado from Mercury. One of the main things was maintenance and ease of use. They want to make this an easy outboard for you guys to use and operate and not have to deal with a ton of junk. So what we want to show you is some of those features, one of them being this hood right here. Now this outboard you don't have to do maintenance on until you hit 200 hours compared to the 100 that we're all used to. And this entire cowling actually doesn't have to move from here until you hit a thousand hours. Incredibly comfortable. You can pop this hood off if you'd like, a little more ease of access. You have the ins and outs of your fluids, you have your oil, transmission, etc. So you can actually do the maintenance on your boat right here in the water. You don't have to haul it out. You have your alternator right back here, charges 30% more than the standard alternator. And they did a heck of a lot of R&D to make sure this cowling uh, sound suppressed this power. Although it's actually relatively quiet with this hood open, when you close this thing, it's more quiet than some of the smaller outboards that they have. They did an, a tremendous job. One of the most innovative features is that this outboard is stuck in place right here and all the work happens underneath the water with the steerable gear case. While you're turning, while the joystick is working, you see that these remain in place and that gear case moves 30 degrees in e either direction if you're handling the boat normally and up to 45 degrees, which is an upgrade with the joystick. So you combine that with the dual prop system that they have on this V12 specifically, tremendous amount of power. You're not moving the weight of the engines. Feels a lot smoother, incredibly quiet, 
a lot of low end torque, two speed transmission as well. So depending on the workload, you're hitting that first gear, gets you on plane incredibly fast, jumps into second gear, you don't even feel that transfer and you're getting some pretty high speeds. You see how they also integrated the steering system into the outboard itself. So very clean insulation here in the transom and actually angled this outward aft so it opens up more room in your transom. Excellent job from Mercury Marine and a great pairing here with Scout Boats. All right, so that was our sea trial and walkthrough on the 425 LXF from Scout Boats. First look at the 600 V12s by Mercury Marine. Absolutely incredible to be doing almost 62 miles an hour with a twin setup on a 42 footer, but that's what we saw. The quietest outboards we've ever, we've ever seen in person and just the movement when they kick them in gear, there's no clacking, there's no noise, super smooth and incredibly powerful. We have that whole shot as well, um, just with twins on this boat. I mean, incredible. We want to see what triples and quads do, but this is really all you need on this boat. And that's what they were built for. So we hope you guys enjoyed that. If you find value in our videos, please subscribe, share this with your friends and family, and we're going to keep doing what we do best here at Center Consoles Only. We'll see you again soon.